the first lady who spoke at a Nairobi hotel when she opened an international conference under the Global Wildlife Program said the success of wildlife protection lies in changing conversation strategies to involve all local communities who live around protected areas. We are all here because we understand the need to keep our wildlife protected. We understand the integral role that wildlife plays in our ecosystems, our economies, and our lives. The resolutions and action plans that we draw over the next three days will define just how successful we will be. Poverty has been singled out as one of the factors that drive communities to poaching. Globally renowned anthropologist Dr. Richard Leakey says putting an end to international poaching will help in win the war. I would urge all of us to remember that whilst conservancies can solve a problem today, with the pressure of climate change and the inevitability that livestock and subsistence farming will not satisfy the costs of education and health 10 years from now, we must find an alternative to uplift the people who are at the moment finding reasons to live cheek by jowl with wildlife. Cabinet Secretary for Environment and Natural Resources, Professor Judy Wahungu, on her part, said the government is committed to increasing incentives for local communities to promote sustainable management of wildlife resources. My ministry recognizes that empowering local people to benefit directly from wildlife resources in turn provides vital incentives to manage them sustainably and to protect them from illegal hunting and trade. The three-day conference is sponsored by the World Bank Group and the United Nations Development Program and comes in the wake of the recent burning of over 106 tons of elephant tusks and rhino horns by President Uhuru Kenyatta. Beatrice Gatonye, Channel One, News Hour.